So how's it going? Welcome to my video. So I'm at Walmart and it's about 8.30. Uh, I had no issues at all with driving earlier today. I uh, went to Walmart for about 30 minutes, did some shopping, came back. You know, try to turn the car on and the car is not starting and I am trying to figure out why it's not cranking. All right. So basically, first thing that came up as far as this concern, the first thing that came up was, you know, maybe maybe um the battery had issues maybe my battery was strained or whatever but believe me i drove about 15 miles here i mean i went to a bunch of other places before i i, I stopped here so if there's any issues with you know if, if the battery was low it would have been charged up the battery on my car is <clears throat> it's pretty new i mean um so the battery is about uh three months old and I don't think it's the battery. And the other thing, the other, the other reason why I don't think it's the battery is because um, everything else works. I mean, I, I, the lights, high beams work, regular light headlights work. They're pretty strong. Um, there's nothing that's out of the ordinary on the dash. All of my lights on the dash work. The blow motor works. The radio works. Everything is working except the car is not turning over. You know, it's not even, uh, I don't even hear a crank. It's not even trying to turn over. It's not even a slow crank, nothing. Um, what I do hear is one single click. And that's all I hear is one click. Now, I don't think it's the, obviously, I don't think it's the alternator. It didn't die out on me while the, the engine was on. If that was the case, then <clears throat> there's a good chance it's the alternator that's bad. But that's not the case. So, basically, um, it could either be the relay or, or, a fuse I can't I, I, I don't know if it's the fuse well I could take a guess that it's not the fuse or the relay to the starter the reason I know this is because you know I can hear a click when I turn the key try to turn on the car I can hear a click so a lot of times if you can hear a click it pretty much means that that there is electricity getting to the solenoid of the startup, except the motor is not is not turning over. I mean, it could be a negative cable too, but um, but no, I um, I pretty much cleaned up all the wires um, over the winter. I cleaned up all the wires, uh, including the negative. I'm pretty sure that's not it. I did recheck it. Negatives are good on here, so I don't think it's anything specific to the fuse or the relay of the starter. Now I did get the car. I did get the car um, jumped. One person helped me jump the car, and unfortunately, that didn't work. Didn't work. Now the starter I have on this car, I changed it about about a year ago. About a year and a half ago, I changed the starter. I think it was about a year and a half ago. Um, I had pretty much the same situation, except um, you know I kind of had issues before that I meaning sometimes the car would start sometimes it wouldn't sometimes it would start sometimes it wouldn't um, I did drive it like that for like you know a couple of weeks and afterwards you know it was parked overnight try to start it and regardless of how many times I attempted it did not do anything it did not start the car so I had to change the starter I had to start a change unfortunately I didn't buy a brand new starter it was not an OEM starter it was a remanufactured starter and I had that put in. A remanufactured starter was put in. Um, and if you guys know anything about remanufactured starters, they're not, you know, entirely reliable. Um, I, I know I have a friend who actually had a remanufactured alternator that that didn't work on him uh, after six months. Didn't work for him after six months. It kind of broke after six months. So. Um, I'm hoping that's not the case because I do not want to change out the starter again. I do not want to get another starter. I do not want to change it out again. Um, and I'm hoping that's not the case. 
but unfortunately at this point I think it is the case um, I did use a crowbar to knock on the motor try to start it unfortunately that did nothing can jump at nothing um, sometimes if you uh, knock on the uh, starter itself sometimes it'll start up I don't know why it would do that but that's just the way it is <sighs> for whatever reason um, you know if you knock it maybe it knocks maybe it was uh, maybe it's stuck because you know after so many um, turns maybe it, it's kind of it needs a little bit of oil it needs a little bit of movement rust or whatever clear out the rust I don't know but this is not the case at this point um, it's not starting for me um, so at this point unfortunately what I'm gonna do is I am going to have to call a tow truck to get it towed um, I'm gonna have to wait an hour for it I do have triple a I'm gonna wait an hour an hour and a half or whatever to get a tow truck here that's what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna keep you guys updated um, and uh, I'm pretty sure uh, unfortunately at this point I'm pretty sure as it started that's the problem but I'll let you guys know All right, guys, so I did get it checked out, and uh, it was the starter that was causing the problem. Unfortunately, uh, I had to go on eBay and uh, get another starter. This time, it's a used starter. cost me about, you know, I don't know. It cost me about, it was, it was, it was cheaper, a lot cheaper than, than the... Then, then the starter I got at, at AutoZone, but um, I got that put in. Um, at this point, I think at this point, I think I, if, if anything else breaks down, I'm gonna rely on OEM parts instead of remanufactured parts. So that kind of sucks, but that's just the way it is. Um, yeah.